Grade 8 Math number 6.1b, Identify Functions from Mapping Diagrams. A function assigns exactly one output for each input. Think of a function as a machine that works by a rule it must obey. If this is our function machine, this is a 4x function machine. And if we put 2 in as x, 2 times 4 is 8. That's going to be our output. See? If we put a 3 in, it'll get multiplied by 4, it'll be a 12. The 12 would be our output. And in a mapping diagram, that's what these two ovals with the arrows are, the arrows always head towards the output. So if they don't have any labels on them, you can tell which one's the output because the arrows are heading towards the output. And remember, a function relationship is just a function rule, okay? A mapping diagram, that's these two ovals with the arrows, they can be used to show the relationship between input and output values. That means they can be used to show the relationship between x and y values. So this is a mapping diagram of values, and it's a 2x relationship. That's the rule. So the rule is 2x. Every x value is multiplied by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So for each input, there's an output. And for a mapping diagram, each input sends one arrow to the output. This is a function because one arrow is sent from each input. There's only one arrow coming from each input. See that? Now take a look at this one. Look what this 3 is doing. He's sending two arrows, so that's not a function. Because the 3 sent two arrows towards the output, this is not a function. It would look like this is a table. It would have a 1 and a 3, like here, and then the 2 and the 6, but then it would have a 3, 9, and a 3, 12. That's what it would look like on a table. Well, on a graph, it would be graphed like this. It would start heading uphill, and because the 3 is repeated, the 3 would be graphed as 3, 9, and 3, 12. It would start going up on a nice slope and then shoot straight up. That's not a function. Now look at this one. Now these three arrows are all going to the same number. Well, are, is each one sending one arrow? Are each one of these input numbers sending one arrow? Yes. They may be sending it all to the same number in the output, but they're each sending one, aren't they? So because each input is sending one arrow towards the output, this is a function. And if we had it in a table, it would look like this. 1, 5, 2, 5, and 3, 5. It's making a horizontal line. 1 with a 5 on the y is right here. 2x with a 5 on the y is right here. And 3x with a 5 on the y is right here. That's making a horizontal line. See? That is a function. The inputs are sending one arrow across. Let's look at this one. This is the same as this one, OK? So because each input is sending one arrow across towards the output, this is a function. It would be like this in a table, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, see? It would just be as if we put the line down here and put a line across to make the table. And if we graphed it, our coordinates would be a 1, 2, right here, and a 2, 4, and a 4, 8, see? And we'd be making this line with the slope, see? That is a function. So, remember, in a mapping diagram, each input only sends one arrow, okay? And these are mapping diagrams. We're going to talk about the tables next and how to identify functions from tables, all right? We're getting there. We've got a dozen videos that cover functions, and we're going on to our third one. I'll see you there. Hope I was helpful. Bye.